Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was sent as a mercy to mankind. He was sent to fight against injustice, poverty, and fight for women's rights. Over 14 centuries, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is the most influential man in the world. He is also the number one mentioned name in the world. Join me as I see how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu has inspired both the Sunni and the Shia community. Be inspired. 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 Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, Muhammad. One thing I like to keep in mind about the Prophet, peace be upon him, is that the the illusion that he has spread that is going on until today is the second fastest growing religion in the world and it's only been 1400 years. He carried out a very, a very big task and he is well known until this day by everybody from different religions. Um, the, the precedents that he set were as you know, high as you know, precedents that were set by ma many other people in the world that were very famous. He taught me many things and I looked up to him for everything that he fought for and everything that he taught the rest of the Muslim men. Sure. Prophet Muhammad sallam, was a true man. He was a perfect man. He was a leader. He was a father. He was a general in the army. He was a son. And he was an influential man. He influenced people throughout all these centuries. He had a God-given message to distribute among these people to show and depict the perfect image of Islam. He's shown us the right from wrong and like how to treat people and everything. And throughout many religions, people respected him whether they wanted to believe in what he brought or not. But they still respected him. He brought light to these people. And he taught us of trustworthiness and everything. Respect, manners. And according to Michael Hart's 100th, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam is the number one most influential man on this earth. So, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was a fine example and a role model to all of us. That will always be respected and looked upon. Honestly. Uh, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam is more than a person. He is a leader, he is an inspirer for me to be closer to Allah. He motivates me, whether it's me, anyone small, big, black, white, male, or female. He just motivates us to be, to do what we do best, to reach closer to Allah, to do better prayers. He's a self model. He was more than just a friend. He was like any regular husband, any regular friend, any regular neighbor. Everyone just trusted him. His trustworthiness was his key concept that everyone believed in. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu has the message for us to spread. He spread it over centuries and we will continue spreading his message for to believe in only one and only Allah. So, what does the Prophet Muhammad mean to me? Well, for me, he is the guidance. Guidance in which Allah brought him for us to show us on how to follow Islam and how to be the person that Allah wants us to be in order to succeed and in order for us to be that model, God sent us Him as our model, as our representative, for us to follow His way and His His word, and in order to be this person, to, to be this person that's accepted by God, this person that does well, that does good, that follows the religion, that prays, and that can, that still has the strong connection between the Creator and the person inside their hearts, inside them and their lives and their everyday lives and tasks to know that they have somebody there and that they can always look for someone in their past to be in their present and as a symbol that he will last till the future. That is true. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa means to me um, he is a perfect human being. He came down to show us guidance and he came as uh, he said to perfect mannerisms. Uh, during his age of ignorance, he was called the truthful and the honest. So 
And as he came, the people trusted him no matter what. Even his enemies trusted him with their money because he was so truthful. They know he wouldn't lie. He came down as a guidance, as a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And to me, he's just a person that under such circumstances stayed so calm and had such reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that his name is the number one nation name in the world. So it, it is truly amazing that we have the greatest prophet that ever lived on this planet. The Prophet Muhammad is the right path for me. He shows me what life should be. Uh, and he taught me morals, uh, how to treat, how to respect others, how to treat neighbors, how to be myself, how to have my voice uh, spoken. Um, he taught me self respect. He is uh, just like a teacher to the students. He's my teacher. Uh, he's the light thing. He's the light that guides me through my days, through my difficulty, through my happiness. Um, Prophet Muhammad means to me many things. Uh, he is the orphan that took care of all orphans that came after him. Uh, he is the illiterate man who promoted education and knowledge for everyone who came after him. He's the poor man who took care of all poor men who came after him. He fought poverty for eternity with his teachings. He is the, the leader that is so inspiring that he brings tears to the eyes till today. Uh, he is the man of his word, the man who can handle responsibilities bigger than mountains, the man who proved himself among prophets to be exceptional in his effort, to be exceptional in the degree of his sacrifice. Uh, he is the man who, uh, who can do it, uh, no matter how long it takes. He's the man who never becomes lonely because he knows he's with God. Prophet Muhammad means Muhammad. He is the praised one. And he is Ahmad. Ahmad also means to be praised, but Muhammad is praised in the sense of quantity. Everyone is praising him, God, the angels, and the faithful. And Ahmad also means to be praised in the sense of quality of the praise. For that reason, the Prophet has more than 300 names and titles, but the most famous one, Muhammad and Ahmad, also Al-Mustafa, the Chosen One, Nabi Rahman, the Messenger of Mercy. Mercy not only just for human beings, but Rahmatan Lil Alameen. He is a manifestation of mercy and compassion for the whole universe. For that reason, Allah says, he is Adim. He is great. He is great in his personality, in his mind, his heart, his eyes, his physical life, his spiritual life, his integrity, his prayer, his patience, his wisdom, and his struggle for justice, for knowledge for raising the community. So Prophet Muhammad is praised in all the occasions and for all the reason that we learn so many lessons from his life. We learn from his birthday that when he came to this world, he was already orphaned. His father already passed away. Mm -hmm. Then his struggle started from the very first moment that he was born and he entered in this world till the time that he had to work like a, a shepherd in Mecca and then 12 years old boy had to participate in a business going from Mecca to Syria back and forth and then the young Muhammad 20 years old 
He has to be part of a social struggle for justice, helpful for those that he organized a group of youth in Mecca to support justice and to defend the Madlumin, to defend the oppressed. Then we learn a lot from his life, marriage life, as a father, as, as a, a, a community member, as someone who promotes faith and family values. Then we learn from his Mi'raj, his ascension, from, from Mecca to Jerusalem, from Jerusalem to heaven. Then we learn from his migration, from Mecca to Medina. And then from his struggle, there are so many things that we can learn from this man. And this is why the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, لَقَدْ قَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ He is a perfect example for your children for your families as a father as a fighter as a leader as a teacher as a community member as a messenger of God there are so many things that we can learn from Prophet Muhammad from his private life public life from the way that he spread the message of the Quran from the way that he raised the family like al Bayt from the way that he left two great legacies for us, the legacy of the Qur'an, the legacy of Ahlul Bayt. So there is no way that we can say enough about this and to show our happiness, our joy, and our gratitude to subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Allah, the one who sent to us, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ اذْبَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ Allah is mannan. He did a great favor to us when he sent the Prophet from among ourselves to be a great example for us, to show his devotion, to show his determination, mm -hmm. that no matter how much they attack him, they tortured him, he went through all this persecution, all this pressure, but he never gave up and he continued his jihad. He paid the price to provide us with the most comprehensive and the most beautiful re religion of al Islam in Ladina, in the Allah al Islam. So we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the occasion. We say, O oh God, thank you for sending us Prophet Muhammad. Thank you for providing this Muhammad with, with a great book like the Holy Quran. And thank you for sending us a great family of the Muhammad, Ahlul Bayt alayhimu salam. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hlala tahlala, hal farha tahlala. Hlala tahlala, hal farha tahlala. Ya Rabbi, salli alaihi wa sallam.